Welcome back to Be Terrific's live continuing coverage of the New York International Auto Show 2015 in New York City at the Jacob K. Javits Center. I'm Michael Artis. We're live here on the floor of the auto show. It's very, very exciting. So much going on. I love this show. At Be Terrific TV on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, you can do connect at beterrific.com for email. You can also join our IRC chat, beterrific.com slash live. Scroll under the live video player. There's an IRC chat you can join, interact with us and our other viewers. Please do that, it's a lot of fun. I've got Brian from Super Chassis here. You guys are an awesome company. You used to be part of the Freightliner company. Yes, sir. Uh, you make truck chassis. Yes. And I love, love, love trucks. I mean, every doesn't. I think it starts as a little boy, right? Every little boy loves trucks. And then, you know, it's funny. I've never been a truck guy, like wanted a truck. Yeah. I've always liked trucks. I've always wanted to drive trucks, never wanted to own one. And, you know, I've been watching commercials lately and I'm like, oh, I really need to get a truck. <laughs> like, I want one. I don't know why. It's it's just a, I think it's a a boy thing. Sure, sure. You need to come down and see what we've got downstairs. It'll blow your mind. For if you're into trucks, we are definitely the what uh, do you truck got? guys. Well, what we do is we uh, we take a and I'm going to take you up on sure, that. By the sure, sure. We'd love to see you down. We've got our new 2015 model that we're debuting out here and whatnot. But we um, we build a recreational pickup, and so it's a really big pickup. But it you don't need any special license. We're not building it for you to be a truck driver, but for you to haul your toys around the country. I like that. So. so it's it's a very heavy duty truck, but you yes. don't need a CDL no for CDL it. No CDL for it. T uh, so is it just the chassis or you do the whole truck? We do the whole truck. We have uh, two models right now. We mm -hmm. build a hauler model that's more of a flatbed, traditional, where you have the trailer on it and whatnot. Um, and that truck, we offer them in uh, eight, six different colors with two different interior choices mm -hmm. to choose from. And we offer it in two different power plant options where you've got uh, our small block engine, which is a nine liter Cummins engine, or we offer a 12 liter big block, which has a Detroit engine in it. A 12 liter big block? Yes, sir. Oh my God. What? So what's it going to cost for me to get into one of these? You know, our uh, base model sticker starts out about $167,000. Very nice. I like this. I'm, I'm looking at this stuff right now. It's unbelievable. Everybody's got to go. What's the site? It's uh, sportchassis.com. Sportchassis.com. Yes, sir. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I, I was just looking at Google Images. I'm gonna go to uh, it myself right now. Sure. Uh, I love it. Um, I, how did you get into this? Into the I would say the car business. Sure. But how did you get into it? We actually started as an emergency vehicle manufacturer uh, back in the mid '90s. Uh, we were building uh, ambulances and rescue trucks. And our niche in the market was we were building all aluminum bodies. Yeah. And we're an aluminum fabricator at heart. And uh, at the late 90s, Freightliner was uh, in an acquisition mode and they were buying up bodybuilders, trying to gain market share. If they bought you, you couldn't use anybody else's chassis. So uh, they were going from there. We were a part of that acquisition and built under the American LaFrance name for mm -hmm. about eight years. Uh, emergency vehicles and at the time we were building this sport chassis product as kind of a way of moving metal out the door we would I, spend I mean, a couple you, hundred hours on a sport you chassis you can put an rv on the back of oh this. yes i sir. mean how much yeah. can this haul uh, our base model will haul about twenty six thousand pounds twenty six thousand yes, pounds sir. yeah that's like how many of me is that let's see <laughs> um no, i can't do the math that quick i'd have to carry a lot yeah, of numbers um it, that's amazing. Twenty six thousand pounds. Pounds. That's yep. unbelievable. Now, Chad Ocho Cinco had uh -huh. had one of these. Did he, he had not? One. Yeah. We have a model. Uh, we call it our XL version. It's set up more like a pickup, mm -hmm. but it's like that Hummer on steroids. This look. is yeah. It's and insane. How how much gas am I going to burn if I'm Chad Ocho Cinco just tooling around town in this? You know, you don't care if you're Chad Ocho Cinco <laughs> how much gas you're going to. I burn guess that's true. That. But if I actually cared, it, it's probably I would imagine like uh, maybe at best ten miles to the gallon. In our two-wheel drive version, we're seeing between 11 and 12 miles to the gallon. Really? Yes, sir. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yep. That's that's really good. Yeah. And and so like, be terrific. We could uh, team up for like spring training oh, yeah. or or the NFL uh, uh -huh. training camps, and we could make this our mobile broadcasting facility sure. and invite athletes in and, and interview them. We actually do a lot of that. Uh, one of our dealers out of Phoenix yeah. uh, follows the Cactus League around. So uh, he uh, specializes in selling into those 
professional athletes and whatnot. So he's been following the cactus leaf. But I think it would be cool to have be terrific oh. at spring training or NFL training let's camps. Do it. Yeah. I would let's, let's make do it happen. It. Yeah, let's do it. I would love to do it. <laughs> so, and I love that you really don't need a CDL for this. No CDL. I could just drive this. You know, it's amazing. I would tell you about 20% of the time yeah. our focus customer is uh, is a female. Yeah, a female. A female buying a truck. Um, a lot of I, those I could are, see my wife Jill driving. This. Oh, Seriously, oh, I'm not kidding. It's they love them. The the maneuverability it'll outturn any other dually pickup on the market really? by about 30 feet. How do you um, make that happen? Well, it's got a 55 degree wheel cut angle on the front of it. So uh, the truck originally was developed by Freightliner as a pickup and delivery inner city. You know how tight the, the streets are. Could here. I literally drive this in New York? Oh, could, you, me personally? You could. Um, yeah. It, I don't know if you want to take your $200,000 truck down the street <laughs> down here. People might be banging into it and whatnot. But but, but you could literally, oh, and you could park it. Oh, yes. I yeah. got to come to it'll, the booth. It'll fit in a standard parking spot and whatnot. So it's, there's nothing. Wait, it'll fit in a standard, a standard parking, parking spot? Standard parking spot, yes. Oh, man. What do people say when you you got to drive this every day, right? We do, yes. Yeah. So what do people say when you go get groceries? Oh, you can't you can't pull into the gas station or the grocery store without you have to plan at least 10 15 minutes so that you can talk to everybody that's coming up. That's to pretty you. amazing. I, I really like this. Uh, and and so are police uh, and fire rescue uh, getting these as well? We uh, we do. We have a, a program going right now that's for municipalities. You'll see the police or the fire rescue pulling the mobile command stations. Uh, we actually build an insert that goes on the back of the truck that uh, a police force can uh, man their SWAT team with it, but they can pull that, that module off in about 30 minutes and then hook up to their command post. So it's a dual function vehicle. I, I like that it. a lot. Now, what are its capabilities as far as, you know, if you were going to use it for some kind of emergency situation, uh, as far as being able to get through, I mean, it's got high ground clearance. It so does. get over things, yep. get through water, it, uh, all that stuff, flooding, it should be pretty sure. good, right? Yes, sir, yeah. Especially in the four-wheel drive model that we do. Um, we put a, a bigger float tire on it. They come out of the factory standard with a 44-inch float tire that's on there, so you get a whole lot of ground clearance. Now, can we go uh, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive? When we have the four-wheel drive model, can we drive it in two-wheel drive to conserve yes. gas when yes. we're on highways and stuff? Yes, and most it, definitely. And then can you and you can do four-wheel high and low? Yes, okay. yeah, just like a standard pickup. And is this automatic? They are all automatic. Yeah. We use Allison transmissions in them. Uh, Allison came to us about 10 years ago and developed a programming that's proprietary to the sport chassis called a TRV programming. So the shift points are really nice. You don't get any clunk or anything. We had this guy on from Cloud9 Exotics uh -huh. before, and he was talking about how he does a program where you can drive a Ferrari or yep. a Porsche or whatever. I think you've got to get with him because I would like to drive this as part of the program. Sure, sure. It's funny. We do a lot of stuff with like the Gold Rush Rally where sure. most of those guys are bringing supercars in and, and running those rallies with them. We have customer base that'll pull a truck in and uh, typically the trucks carry about 180 to 200 gallons of fuel on them. So when those supercars are having to pull over and fill up, the truck just keeps on going and blows 200 on 200 gallons 200 of fuel. 200 gallons of fuel. 200 gallons of fuel. I'm trying to think of, uh, so it's like the tortoise and the hare. Yep. The hare might exactly. start off faster, but the tortoise gets and wins the race. Exactly. I'm trying to think, 200 gallons of fuel, let's say an average of $3 a gallon, that's $600 to fill it. Yep. But, I mean, it's... It, it's It'll putting, go about 2,400 miles before you have to do it again. Wow. So. <laughs> That's amazing. You're going to have to stop and relieve yourself before you have to stop. And well, I might get one of those astronaut suits. <laughs> what do you think? It could work. It could work, it could, right? Yeah. I did see, have you been to Bed Bath & Beyond lately and see the portable urinal? No, I have not yeah, seen they, that. Yeah, you should sell that as an accessory. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's they sell this thing. It's so funny, though. I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what would you do with this? Like, <laughs> I don't want that because, first of all, where am I that I really can't, exactly. especially as a guy, I can yeah. find the woods, right? Exactly. I can find a tree. What am I going to do with this bag that I've <laughs> Like, what am I going to do with that sure. before I throw it out? What if it leaks? Yeah. What if, I mean, it's uh, just like, I don't want that. You don't want to have anything to do with it. No, that. and then what I, excuse me, uh, <laughs> hey, we're driving together down the road. He's like, hey, um, hey can could, you hold this for would me? Would you mind holding that? <laughs> uh, absolutely does, not. Does anybody have more fun than you? Well, you know, I don't know. We've, I've been doing this for about 15 years now, yeah. and it has been a blast. Um, I grew up with the product. I was a sales coordinator for about eight years, um, mainly working the West Coast, have met just wonderful people it's really interesting a small little company out of Oklahoma that can come and even sitting here in the New York Auto Show it's uh 
pretty surreal for us. Oh, it's got to be. I imagine for us too. And 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 we're a startup, and and we're in the New York area. I've yep. been in the New York area my whole life, and for us, it's amazing to be here. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's magical. It's a so. wonderful show. It is absolutely. Thank you so much. Yes, you got to check out sportchassis.com. Yes, sportchassis.com. Sportchassis.com. This thing is amazing. Many different models, but it's unbelievable. You've definitely seen it make news with Chad Ocho Cinco. He had it at the Super Bowl in Miami several years ago, about 2010, I think it was. And uh, I got a ride in it. It was unbelievable. Uh, what a great truck. You got to check it out. And hopefully, we'll do a lot more with Sportchassis uh, and Sportchassis.com.